What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've decided because I'm going grocery shopping today I would take you guys along with me. So today is a little bit different because this is the first grocery haul shopping thing that I'm doing while um, the little crisis that is happening in the, the world. It's not little, it's, it's ginormous. But with everything that's happening at the moment, we are self-isolating. So our grocery shopping is a little bit different, but it's somewhat still the same. We're just buying a little bit more groceries this time than we would before. So today, my sister actually has my two boys while I'm grocery shopping because I'm going to have her two boys tomorrow while she grocery shops. So for the today, I'm actually going in to the spud shed and then I'm going to go pop into Woolworths and go get the rest of the stuff. So we are currently at the spud shed. It is quite busy here. I haven't shopped here since... Um, everything went down so I don't know how it's going to be here but I'm hoping fingers crossed that it's going to be okay and I can still get the stuff I need to get so um let's go and let's go grocery shop <laughs> Now we are at our second stop of the day. We did successfully at the spud shed, um, but we're going to go into Woolworths and go get the rest of the stuff that is on my list. Woo! It is a journey. This whole new shopping situation is a journey. Um, a journey I do not like, a journey I want to be over, and it's just odd. Okay. Let's go and let's do the rest of this shopping. <laughs> So we are back home now and I've had to get changed because unfortunately Mr. Theodore, when I picked him up, he had done a poop explosion and I did not notice and he got it all over my clothes. So now we are in different clothes now, but I want to share with you guys my grocery haul. So I ended up spending $163, I'm pretty sure it was on everything that I got. I obviously went to two stalls today. I went to the spud shed and I also went to Woolworth. I'm going to start off with all of my fresh fruit and vegetables. First of all, I've got two avocados. These are shepherd avocados. I'm not a fan of shepherd avocados, but that is all they had in store. I also got two punnets of strawberries where Frederick has eaten half of this punnet already. So we've got two fresh punnets of strawberries. I honestly didn't think I was going to find strawberries because strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries have been really hard for me to find. I just haven't been able to really find them around places because everyone seems to be buying them. I also got four bananas just to add to our little banana collection that we've got. I think I've got six in the fridge and we go through bananas quite quickly so I'm just like topping them up so we can get through the next week. I do have a whole lettuce here. Um, nothing really much to say. Just got a whole lettuce. I did get two capsicums and yes they're in a plastic bag. I am not a fan of getting my vegetables in plastic bags to be honest but i totally forgot to get my reusable uh produce bags and i just didn't want these touching the trolleys to be honest i also got a another bag of carrots i have currently a bag of carrots in the fridge right now but we go through carrots again very quickly because we put them in a lot of dishes plus frederick has them for snacks so we had to get another packet of carrots got a bag of Spinach. I just got four um, pink lady apples. That is everything 
um, fresh fruit and veg wise. I'm going to go through the pantry stuff because I do have a lot of pantry stuff. So first of all, I've got some snacks. So I went ahead and got my favorite crackers at the moment. These are the natural Cracker Co crackers and these are the honey soy chicken flavor. We absolutely love these crackers so much. They're so delicious. I did also finally pick up two packets of my quick oats. We go through quick oats very quickly because I have oats every single day. I did also get two peanut butters because once again, this is another thing that we go through really quickly. And because I'm trying not to go to the shops every single week and I'm trying to expand it out to um, every week and a half to two weeks, I had to grab two peanut butters so we could definitely keep our peanut butter stock up because... I did also end up getting some treats for Frederick. So I ended up getting the Messy Monkey chicken flavored chips. We love these, like our whole family loves them. They're just really tasty and really a good healthy alternative to the original potato chips. I did also get some corn wraps. These are just corn wraps from Mountain Bread. Also did get um tortillas because we are probably going to have chicken tortillas or burritos some day through the next week and a half so i had to go grab some fresh ones i did get these snacks at the spud shed i just saw them and they were only 99 cents so i'm just like i'm just gonna get them so they're nutrigrain with nuts in them so they are peanuts almonds and nutrigrain and we love peanuts almonds and nutrigrain so i just ended up getting the original spice one and because they're only 99 cents i decided to get two because they'll just be good for little snacks here and there in the house um, another snack we got was just this table of plenty mini rice cakes with the milk chocolate on top i love this they're only 17 calories per like little cracker which is good for a healthy alternative i also just went and stocked up on frederick's muesli bars we get the uncle toby strawberry flavor muesli bars um pack so i have been just getting these because they're only six dollars and i'm pretty sure the six pack is four dollars so you might as well just pay the extra couple of dollars for you know 11 extra bars i did also get myself some water crackers i needed to get some new ones because i ate all my last ones last week and frederick's got lots of succotars so i thought i would get some crackers for myself for during the day i think this is pretty much my last like snacky thing that we've got but i ended up getting a packet of hot cross buns i do actually already have a packet in my freezer but because easter is coming very soon and it's going to be over i'm going to miss these so bad so i had to pick up another packet i like the chocolate ones if anyone wants to know i do not like the fruit ones Ugh. anything with sultanas in it Ugh. so also in my pantry i have two of my almond milks i get the vita soy almond milk which is unsweetened i finally found some of this because last time i went grocery shopping they were out of this brand completely in oat in soy in almond like literally everything that you wanted to get with the vita soy milk they were all fully out so i had to get a brand that i really just don't enjoy drinking so finally got some of these and i can enjoy my milk again so we did get a little treat for frederick and we ended up getting him some nutrigrain cereal we did get this for him a couple of weeks ago and he really enjoyed it so we decided we'll get it again for him this time so another essential that we all know we struggle with getting at the moment is rice I've really been struggling with trying to pick up rice in like other packets that I can cook myself, but mainly they are all out. So I've had to just go with microwave rice at the moment, but thankfully we can get the family size so we can use um, this in a really big dish and I don't have to use two of them. I also did grab two tins of tuna. I'm pretty sure you're only allowed two tins of tuna now, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, I know you're only allowed two tins of vegetables, 
but I don't know about the tuna but they didn't say anything when I got two tins so hopefully you're allowed more but I have no idea I did get two tins of vegetables one I got beetroot and the other I just got a four pack of corn the last pantry things I've got are just some breadcrumbs so I can make homemade chicken nuggets and I also can put breadcrumbs on top of uh, the shepherd's pie that I'm going to make this week and I also got two packets of the uh, taco seasoning so we can have burritos one night this week and then if we want it again next week I don't have to go back to the shop and go get another packet so I ended up stocking up on my cat food and when I say stock up on my cat food I mean I bought two tins and I only have three tins in my pantry so anyone who wants to come for me I've only got five tins of cat food that will last me two weeks almost so it's not going to last me very long because my cats eat a lot of food um, but it will last me at least two weeks another cat food that we got was just their biscuits so these biscuits last about two weeks so they've got a half a bag at the moment so I just grabbed it because I knew I would go back to the shops in a couple of days to get some more cat food so I thought I might as well just get it now while I'm at the shop the last things that I've got to share with you guys are my dairy and my meat so if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you don't want to see meat please just click away I totally understand that it's not for everybody and everyone doesn't want to see that kind of stuff so I ended up getting three chabati um, Greek yogurts I did get some cheese slices so these are Colby cheese slices Frederick really likes these in toasted sandwiches and then I also just got some perfect pizza shredded cheese Another thing for our fridge was just some dip. Got some hummus dip and I also got some spring onion dip. So last but not least are my meat. So I did get some sausages. These are the herb and garlic sausages. And then I did get two packets of the lean mince. So this will last us four meals um, or even more depending on what we make with our mints. That is everything that I got today while grocery shopping. I hope you all enjoyed seeing our grocery shop while we're in self-isolation and why we've had to buy a little bit more than we usually do. So I hope this was all interesting and I guess I'll see you all very soon. Bye.